Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we'll be learning how to master seminars. Now seminars not as a seminar wherein uh, you have to just speak but seminar as a course. A course that judges your in-depth study in a specialized area. So we'll be studying about what is a seminar, how to choose a topic for a seminar, how to do the in-depth research in that seminar, how to make a report, how to give your final seminar presentation, how are you graded in this, in this course, and then finally I will tell you 800 top seminar topics wherein you can search your own topic in which you have to do in-depth study. Now let's move. Seminar is basically a course for both in undergraduate and postgraduate students wherein you are guided under a faculty member and you are expected to do in-depth study investigation inside a specialized area. Now this you have to do by going through surveys or doing an understanding diversion aspects of the problem and then finally arriving to a status that has to be presented in the form of report and presentation. Now let's move to find how to choose a topic. Now the topic that you have to choose should be of the area of your interest. And why is it so? Because then only you can actually do in-depth study, in-depth investigation in that topic. If that topic does not actually interests you, then how can you do five, 10 hours investigation on the topic, right? Also, the topic should be within your scope. It shouldn't be hypothetical. It shouldn't be your own created topic. Rather, it should be topic that actually in exists in today's world. Now, after choosing a topic, you have to first of all confirm the topic with your mentor or, that, or your guide. You're not supposed to randomly choose your topic and start researching. Once your mentor or guide actually research, uh, finalizes the topic, then only you have to start researching and uh, doing in-depth study in that particular area. Never ever un underestimate the second topic because many of you start researching on the topic and then finally you get to conclusion that the mentor actually asks you to, to change the, that particular topic. So do not underestimate point number two. Next comes point number three, wherein you have to do an in-depth research. Now the question rises, how to do that? To do that, first of all, you should actually know what does your topic mean? How is your topic related to other, other terms? What was your, is your topic actually related to previous any other technology? Is your topic actually an advanced version of anything? After no, knowing all of these things, you have to go through different research papers, general correlated works of the authors, the researchers, very critically judge them, understand the concepts, the techniques, the phenomena that are going on in your project, do extensive researches on the websites that are available, go through books and do investigations. Now, once you have done all of these things, you are yourself clear with that particular topic, then you have to make a report. A report which consists of just of whatever you have understood in a very concise and clear manner. Always remember, use the instructions that are given by the college or the institution. Never ever use your own format of making the report. Now I have provided you a sample guidelines report to the seminar wherein you can follow these headings in your report as a reference but always follow the guidelines that is given by your own institution and college. Go through the topics, the headlines that are given by your own college. Follow the font size, the, the font color, the font headlines, line spacing, everything because this is the first representation of your topic to the judges. From this only the judges can get to know how much in-depth study you have done for your particular topic. Your seminar should be very crisp, clear and to the point. You should actually use pictures, you can use texts, you can highlight with the help of different font colors but only if your own college allows to do that. Now after submitting your report, now report is actually submitted prior to your presentation so that the judges also have a prior idea of what you are actually going to explain in your seminar. Now next comes the presentation. Presentation should be very very interactive. It should have less of text portion but more of picture portion. You should explain your presentation with the help of pointers, highlighter, laser lights so that each and every phenomena is clear to the judges as well. Avoid using 
dark color slides and always use proper indentation font and colors in your presentation all the instructions again must be clearly followed to make your presentation and your speech your speaking skills should be enhanced and the way almost all the concepts that you have yourself understood should be communicated properly in your presentation now once you have completed with your presentation then comes the q and a round where actual testing of your in depth study is done over here here the uh, judges can ask you questions on your topic on the prior technology that uh, this topic has of anything about this topic so if you have done in depth study if you have done good investigation on your project then you will able to clear this round easily the uh, next comes the grading system the scores you are actually graded upon the depth of this work you have done about how much you actually understand the problem and the topic that you have taken on your report and on your presentation so these are the various ways in which how are you graded in this course then there is a link in the description down below which actually has 800 plus topics for your seminar wherein you can select that one topic in which you want to do specialized uh, specialization and then you can give your report your presentation easily but my suggestion would be go to the topic in which interests you which you have actually interest in so that you can do uh, 5 to 10 minimum 10 days research on that particular topic thank you everyone for staying up till the end if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel also i have a telegram community where i regularly post and update placements and internship tips and opportunities if you want to join the telegram community please hit the link in the description below if you have any doubts related to the video please comment down below in the chat box thank you take care bye bye all the best